Morning, Kenton. What's the deal with your little symbol here? Can't believe it's not butter. Are you a butter fan? Margarine fan? <laughs> Morning. You guys want to get ready? I'm going to start the warm up in about two minutes once everyone shows up. Do any of you guys know anything about Spirit Week? Have you heard anything? Okay. I will talk a little bit about that this morning then, just so that you guys are aware how that plays out. Well, wait, one more minute. Myrna McKenzie. Aiden, are you there? Are you still in dreamland? Aiden Ramos. No, I'm here this time. All right. Good to have you. All right. Okay. So I'm going to start the warm up, and then if I come back and start talking about something else can somebody just pipe in hey don't forget to tell us about homecoming so um i get wrapped up in what i'm doing and sometimes i forget things so let me share my screen with you so you can start your warm-up remember you have two minutes to do it you're only going to be doing nutrition one questions always and remember they have to be in complete sentences so um let me get it on the right warm up because this one obviously is from the past. So let me pull once it gets loaded here. It's taking just a minute. Today's the six, right? Okay. So here we go for your warm up. Nutrition one only. Three, two, one, start.
You have about 30 seconds. Okay, so um, let me tell you a little bit about homecoming so that you know. Looks like we had some other people join us here. <clears throat> let me just try to get them checked off. I think I got everybody. All right. So um, I'm just going to read some of the stuff from Homecoming from Mrs. Collins. So it says uh, Spirit Week starts next week, October 5 through 9. Students can, students can participate by posting video and pictures on social media using hashtag PHSHOCO2020. I'm going to repeat that. Uh, you can post a video or picture on social media using hashtag PHSHOCO2020 uh, or hashtag Pentastic2 if you want to be featured on the school website. Um, all right, so here are your days. So on Monday, which is past, but that was Mask Monday, today is TikTok Tuesday. Recreate your favorite TikTok. Uh, tomorrow is Woke Up Wednesday, and that's Crazy Hair Day. Uh, 08 is Thursday, Throwback Thursday. Reenact your favorite throwback picture. 09 is Green and White Day. Show your school pride. Does anybody need uh, any more information besides that? It was probably on your um, news feed on Everybody's Whip. So if you didn't catch that, that's probably where you'll find that. Or maybe there was an email that was sent out to you. I'm not sure. But those are the days. And um, if you want to participate, there you go. Okay. So um, I believe the test for this unit on safety and sanitation and everything else that we've covered in the unit is going to be on um, next week, Thursday. And I always will do a review sheet. So I'll probably hand out the review sheet and then it'll be due Thursday and um, we'll go from there. So just kind of plan on Thursday test. Uh, when I give a test, I don't usually hold you. So when you're done with the test, you can go, but usually I leave you with the idea that, you know, if you still need to get work in, um, basically on the test day, everything is still full credit. And then after the test, it's half credit and then zero. Okay. And I've given the whole time that we've been together all that time for you to get assignments in. So, um, there's really shouldn't be any issue. There might be one or two lingering that I might push back a couple days just because of how things are falling. So, um, just kind of have that in the back of your mind or if you use a planner or something just kind of tentatively write it in um, because it will be over um, like I said sanitation safety and um, you know we did some measuring and different things like that um, you can always email me if you have a question about that um, or come to my office hours remember they're Tuesday and Friday from 11 to noon and then Thursday they're from 2 to 3 so if you ever want to chit chat, which would be great, you know, because all I see are your little circles and I never really get to see you. So um, that would be nice to actually see you face to face. All right. So um, we are going to start our last and final assignment. It's a web quest. So there's several segments to it. So we're going to work on the first segment today. Okay. And that's what's going to be due next time we meet right before class. Okay. Because you kind of have to build on each the assignments build on each other. So like you have to have this one done to be able to do the next one and you have to have that one done to be able to do the next one. So um, they kind of build on each other and I'm giving you class time to work on it. And so I need you all here um, 
to stay every time that we do the uh, assignment. So it, like I've said before, it's just like me handing you an assignment in class and you sitting in at your seat working on it. You know, if you have questions or concerns, you can ask. I'm right here. Um, but you stay in the class while you're working on the assignment. If the hour gets used up and you're still not done, then that becomes your homework. And again, the due date is before class on Thursday. Um, I believe I have it due at 7.30. And, and, you know, we start class at 7.35. So just be aware of that. So any questions on what I've talked about thus far that you might have? Okay, so Caroline, yep, I figured that's where you were. Um, so I'm going to continually talk about it throughout. But what I was saying was that we're going to do a web quest. Each assignment builds on each other. I'm going to assign the first one today. And I haven't even talked about it. Um, and you're going to work at it in class today. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to it and that'll probably explain a little bit more as we go. All right, so let me share my screen with you. Um, I got a video I want to play for you guys and um, explain the assignment. So bear with me here. Okay, so let me see if I can pull this up. Okay, so I'm going into your um, Google Classroom right now. And um, it's under, it's still under unit one. It's called CSI Food Felons. There's two documents. This is the actual website and this is the document. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something with the document because um, we have to change it into a Google Drive. So when you click on it, it'll come up. And what you wanna do is up here at the top where it says open with, you wanna open it with a Google Doc and then you can manipulate it and write on it. Um, but just don't forget that that's how you actually uh, maneuver the worksheet, okay? So hopefully you've done that before and that makes sense to you. So let's go into the um, web quest. So web quest, if you don't know anything about it, is kind of like your um, researching on your own, kind of coming to your own conclusions, um, documenting your, um, information that you got from the resources and then using it to typically solve a problem. So our problem is that, you know, this this food has affected certain people at a, at a specific restaurant and the owner is trying to figure out what is causing the problem so that, um, you know, he can either reopen or um, let his customers know that, you know, it's safe and he's figured out what the problem is. So, uh, CSI Food Felons. Here's the case file. So it says, I hope you are up for the challenge because this inv investigation is going to take some time and hard work. Each CSI, which is you guys, will be required to choose three specific cases to solve. So conduct research on food felons, determine liable suspects for each case by organizing clues received from the interviews, the cooking scene investigation, and other resources and put together a presentation for the cafe owner and chief of police identifying the culprit. So to get us going, this is kind of the, the section where it tells you everything you're going to do, but I don't want to overwhelm you. So, um, but I do want you to know it's here if you need to know step-by-step step what you're to do, but I'm going to bypass it for now because I don't want to like, you know, throw you in um, and have you become frustrated or overwhelmed or whatever. So we'll talk about that, but let's just go uh, through the steps first. Okay, so we're gonna start with the intro and that's where we find our videos. Um, it just says that they thank you for helping in uh, such a serious uh, time of need. Yesterday at Cafe Today, there was an outbreak caused by a group known as the Food Felons. They re that resulted in several illnesses, hospitalizations, and even one death. I need you to help to determine the cause of the outbreak so that it can be contained and prevented in the future. I am giving you full access to all files, workers, customers, and the restaurant. So please help us. All right, so I'm going to show you this video about um, somebody that was affected by an FBI, and they had to figure out what the cause was. 
And so they investigated. So this isn't real long. It's about five minutes, maybe. And it's just about this woman's story of how um, an FBI affected her life. Okay. So one thing um, that I want to remind you that is in the chat, if you have a serious question or concern, please place it there. Um, but otherwise, remember that the chat is used for school um, appropriate items only, not for individual conversations or anything like that. Okay. So just as a quick reminder. All right. So I think in order to show you this video, I have to switch out of this um, presentation mode that I'm in and move into a different one in order for the video to play. So um, Connor, if you could just let me know if um, the video is playing, that would help me know that um, I can go ahead and continue with it. Uh, I'm trying to think how. Okay. So Connor, can you see this? No. Ah. So there's nothing on the screen? No. All right. So stay with your mic on for a second. Oh, okay. It didn't take. That's why. I'm like, what? Um, it's not what I want. Okay. Can you see it now? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Phew. All right. So I'm going to play it and you don't have to mic in just if you can hear it, we're good. But if you can't, that's when I would need you to say something. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So this is about four minutes. In 2001, one of those victims was two-and-a-half-year-old Kevin Kowalczyk. You may have met Kevin's mom, Barbara, in the 2009 Oscar-nominated documentary Food, Inc., a film that brought attention to the industrialization of the American food supply. In the film, Barbara shared the story of Kevin's courageous battle with E. coli. Went from that to being dead in 12 days. We ended up eating three hamburgers before he got sick. We started to see blood in, in Kevin's diarrhea. So we took him to the emergency room and they said, uh, we've gotten the culture back from Kevin's stool and he has hemorrhagic E. coli. They came in and informed us that Kevin's kidneys were starting to fail. Kevin received his first dialysis treatment. He was not allowed to really drink water. We had these little sponges and we were allowed to dip that into a cup of water and then give him that. And he bit the head off of one of one, one of them. You've never seen someone beg. He begged for water. It was all he could talk about. I wouldn't let anybody bring any any beverage into the room because he, I mean, it was, it was all he would talk about was water. I don't know if he knew what was happening to him. And I hope, I don't know. To watch this beautiful child go from being perfectly healthy to dead in 12 days, it was just unbelievable that this could happen from eating food. Following Kevin's death, Barbara and her family founded the Center for Foodborne Illness Research and Prevention. A well-respected nonprofit, CFI promotes a holistic approach to food safety that integrates human, animal, and environmental health. A scientist by education and training, Barbara envisioned CFI as a knowledge broker working to translate science into action. Recognized as food safety experts, Barb and her mother, Pat Buck, have been invited to speak around the world and have been called to serve on many government committees. They have met with members of Congress, agency officials, and activists around the country. 
Barbara embodies Margaret Mead's famous quote, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. I can't change the fact that Kevin's dead. When you tell somebody you've lost a child, I really don't like that look of pity that kind of come into their eyes, that they feel sorry for me. I can have a pity party all by myself very well, thank you. <laughs> I don't need it from other people. What I need them to do is listen and help me affect a change. Okay, so um, as you can see, it does affect people. And um, it's basically, um, we're trying to solve a case similar to hers. Um, we do have one death and we have many people sick. So we're trying to figure out, um, you know, what the cause was. So what you guys need to do, let me go back to the tasks. Um, you guys go to step two. And these are the case files. You don't really need to look at those today, but if you are curious, these are all the um, victims and the clues and evidence that we have to solve the problem. But your actual assignment is uh, step three. And that's where you get into your chart about food felons. So what we need to do first is do the research. So we need to find um, the signs and symptoms of each FBI we need to figure out what foods could cause it or where it would be found, and then some prevention type tactics that a victim might have to, once sick, um, be cured. So what you need to do is you don't need to download this chart because I've already put it in Google Classroom for you. I just showed you where it was and how to make it into a Google Doc. Uh, this first website here is the chart, which you don't need because it's already provided. But you want to go to this one, foodsafety.gov. And then there's also this one too, which is kind of like a chart you're filling out. Um, I only caution you that you need to read the information and put it into the chart. No copy paste. So if you're going to copy and paste everything, know that your grade will reflect that you didn't do the work, that you allow the resource to do the work for you. All you gotta do is read the information and then go ahead and type it in the chart, okay? Um, and that's all you need to do today. So are there any questions on what you need to do? Cause that's the assignment that you're gonna stick around here and work on with me. Um, so questions you have about the assignment. Because now would be the time to ask me. Okay. So I'm going to hand you the assignment of the case study, which I just did. And you are to open the documents and use the websites to fill out that chart. Okay. So you need to do that now. I'm going to check back in with you. Let's say I'll check on your progress at about 7.15. See how you're doing. See if you have any questions. So at 7.15, I'm going to check. Do you mean 8.15? What's that, Aiden? Do you mean 8.15? Oh, yes, I do. Sorry, yes. <laughs> 8.15. So um, let's have you get working on that chart. And um, like I said, I'm right here. If you have questions or you can't see something, I can try to help. So let's work on our um, assignment. Our food felon suspect list and fill out the chart.
I'm going to interject for just a second. I'm going to show you something real quick. Okay, so I don't know if you found this or not, but I'm going to help you out if, if you need it. Let's see. Um, so when you go to this website, you want to go over to food poisoning and you want to go to bacteria and viruses. And that's where you're going to find all of the FBIs. And that's where you'll find all the information. Okay. Or if you, I just text out, hold on. <laughs> um, if you go to the second website, it gives you a chart very similar to the one you're going to be making. And um, the information is there that you'll need to transfer over. So let me show you that. Oops, I think I went too far. Oopsie. Step two. Okay. So if you go to the bottom here, it should bring up a chart that's very similar to the one that you're working on. Okay. So you'll get some information here as well if you need that. So whichever way you want to do it or go back and forth, that's totally up to you how you want to manipulate or use your resources. So hopefully that helped. Um, let me know in the chat if I can offer any more advice. I do check my email periodically, so if you didn't want something on the chat, you could always email it to me, too. That's perfectly fine. Or you could say, check your email, and I'll look at it.
Okay, how is everyone doing? Are there any questions so far? Is everything going smoothly? Uh, put in the chat a one if everything's good and you're just needing a little more time to work. Okay. Read you loud and clear. Okay, so continue working. I'm going to check back with you at 25, 825, and then we'll see how far you've gotten.
I got a question. Yes. What the? How come the names on step two, where you can click the pictures to see all the evidence and all that, doesn't match up with the ones on the graph? What do you mean? Like, because on case number three, it says Tony, but there's no Tony on here. Oh, Tony is the victim. Are you still on food felons? Uh, yeah, I'm looking over all the evidence. Okay, so the evidence that we're going to use a different chart for all of that information, but this chart that you're working on is just the FBI information, foodborne illness information. So when we look at the evidence, we're going to fill out a different chart with all their ailments and things, and then we're going to try to figure out what FBI agent uh, was the one that caused it. That makes sense? I think. Because the little pictures you're looking at are just of the victims, the clues, the things they ate. It doesn't even talk about any uh, foodborne illness specifically. You guys have to try to figure out which one did it. But I'm not assigning that till next time, Aiden, so you're kind of getting ahead of things. Oh. <laughs> So just uh, hang tight because the clues and evidence we're going to look at next time. Not that you can't look at them, you can, but um, I'm just going to address those more specifically the next time we meet. So if you want to drop in the chat what number you're on. Um, so what, uh, what you um what link do I have to click to see the FBI's and all that? But okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so watch me. Okay, so this is the website you're on, and this is the document. This is the document that you are working with. So when you go on your website here okay this is the evidence but we're not doing anything with that yet so we're gonna go to this one and our chart is here which is in google classroom already and then you use these two websites to fill the chart out okay does that make sense to you so not number what? So not number one. Uh, no, this step two is where we are right now. We'll talk about the other chart that has to do with the victims. I hope that made sense. Oh, hush up. Okay, thank you guys for letting me know what number you're on. I appreciate it. Awesome. Looks like you're working right through it, so great. So we're going to stay right here until 835 working on this. So if you do get it done, which you should, um, you're going to go ahead and put it in the Google Classroom. Turn it in. And then um, if you don't get done, then this would be my saying to you, whatever you don't complete is your homework, and it's due five minutes before class begins, okay? So just keep that in mind as we continue on.
Can you drop me a number as to which one or what number you're on? There's seven total. Thanks, Alyssa. <clears throat> Thanks, Abby. Thank you, Connor, Caroline. Kelsey, thanks. Ian, thank you. For those of you that kind of keep a good eye on the Google Classroom, um, the monkey bread demonstration, I got a lot of things planned and I think that's just going to be too much work for you guys to have to do this uh, web quest and get your uh, demo done, demo page done. So I'm going to push that back again um, just because I don't want to overwhelm you and I might even end up pushing it back even further next week. I'm not sure. Just, you know, with the test and everything, I just don't want to I know you have your core classes that you get loaded down with and such. So um, <clears throat> I don't want to add more to your list of things to do. So if you've done the monkey bread, that's awesome. And if you haven't um, at this point, just put that in the back of your mind because there's too much stuff coming up that I want to wait on that assignment. So um, just to let you know, I did change the deadline to it for next Friday, I believe, but I may even push it back into the following week. So <clears throat> just to give you guys, you know, a breather. Caroline, what's the monkey bread? Uh, monkey bread is the demonstration that I did last week. Um, and I put it in the Google Classroom, but we never got to it and I forgot to assign it. So um, I was going to do it this week, but then I'm doing the web quest and I don't want to add that to it. And then next week we have the test and such, and I don't want to add that to it. So um, that's what the monkey bread is about. But, you know, if you want to make monkey bread and you want to watch the video, it's there for you. So um, you have that opportunity. It's pretty simple. There's three ingredients. So <clears throat> maybe four, actually four. Yeah, it is amazing. <laughs> I totally agree with that statement. And if you do make it, take a video, send it to me. Uh, maybe in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to ask that you guys video yourself making something and uh, turn it in. So just get some practice. And like I said, monkey bread, the only thing that you would need to buy is biscuits. And uh, maybe some of you already have that at home. I'm not sure. But then it's cinnamon, sugar, and butter. That's it. So um, if you think about it and you want to make it, super simple. So we got about three minutes left. Does anyone have any questions or concerns 
about the assignment. Because with the time I gave you, if you are all here physically and mentally, uh, you should be pretty close to finishing up. Um, Logan was on five. Yeah, Skylar. So we only have to do step two and that's it. Yep. Or it's not the same. Okay, yeah. Yeah, just this chart. And then the next time we meet, we'll do another chart on all the evidence and such. And then we're going to bring them together and uh, do a little presentation. But that's like three meeting or two meetings from now. So um, like I said, I just want to give you little snippets at a time so that it doesn't like completely boggle your mind and think, oh my gosh, there's no way I can do this. So just, just so you know. But anyway, um, you know, you can stay for two more minutes because we that is our time. I'm just going to stay right here. But if you have any more questions, let me know. Remember my office hours or you can email me if you have questions. But, um, you know, I'm here for you. So please tap into my me as a resource if you need anything. So. And if you need to know anything about homecoming, I can recap that too really quick if anybody came in late, didn't hear it. Uh, Caroline, if we only have one minute left, so yeah, you can go if you're done. If not, then you know you have homework. And those that remain after the time, I'm going to have to say you weren't here mentally. All right. Uh, bye. Bye, Eden. Thanks for showing up today. Mm -hmm. Work on your stuff. Yes, yeah, surprisingly, I actually woke up by myself today. You good job. Yeah, I always hey, knew man. you could. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Bye, bye now. Bye, Aiden. So Cameron and Isaiah, would I have to guess that you're not here mentally? Just uh, no, I'm here. I don't know why I haven't left yet, to be honest. Right. I, I was just like doing it, and then I just didn't have time, I guess, to leave real quick. But I will hey, right now. Hey, a question for you. Hey, oh, okay. did you have trouble staying in the classroom today? Oh, I shut my Chromebook and I, I was like – I was moving in like my bed and then my Chromebook <laughs> shut on accident and it kicked me out the meeting. So I had to join back. Oh I my God, it for so a quick sec and my screen went black and then it kicked me out the meeting. <laughs> you better be yeah. more careful, mister. Man, for real. <laughs> Man. All right. Well, take care. Always good to talk to you. Yep. Bye, Bye Cameron. Oh my God, he's so funny.